Here you can see this is the chamfer form. A slope form is called the chamfer form. And this is the fillet form. A curve form is called the fillet form. You can create this form on the corner edge with the bevel tool. Here you can see this design. This design has a fillet form. This is the exterior side and on the exterior side fillets are convex. This is the interior side and on the interior side fillets are concave. If I know my design has a fillet profile from the outer side as well as from the inner side then I will decide the right order for modeling steps. In this case I will use the insert faces tool as well as the bevel tool but add the right modeling step to create that fillet profile. Because this design has a convex as well as the concave fillet form. I am going to explain this thing with a practical example. I am going to add a circle with 32 words. Shift A add circle with 32 words. Then you can select these edges in the edit mode and extrude them along the y axis like this. Then you can select these words and then delete these words. Then you can select these words and scale them along the y axis. Then you can select these words and Ctrl X to dissolve them. Now you will get this kind of 2D shape. I am going to duplicate this. So Shift D to duplicate it and give them the right position. So I can demonstrate you in both ways. Then select both the objects and Ctrl A apply the scale. Just go to the edit mode. Now select these corner words and Ctrl B add bevel on them. I am going to add a 2 segment bevel and bevel width is 0 0.05. Then select these corner words and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Here I am going to add 4 segment bevel and the bevel width is 0 0.15. Then I am going to select everything, press F to fill the gap. Now I am going to use the insert operation. So press I for that. Here I am going to give the thickness 0.2. As I started to increase the thickness, I started to get artifacts. Now you can see words are overlapping each other. Here you can see overlapping of words. Here you can see the difference in width of the outer curve and inner curve. Now select the second design. Go to the edit mode and press F to fill the gap. And here I am going to use the insert operation at the first edge. And I am going to give the same thickness, 0.2. Now I will select these corner edges and I will add a bevel on them. I will add a 2 segment bevel with same bevel width, 0.05. And here also on these corner edges I will add a 4 segment bevel and now the bevel width is 0.1. And here I have decreased the bevel width from the 0.15 to 0.1. And here you can see I am getting this kind of results. You can see the difference clearly. I am not getting any overlapping of words. I am getting the proper curve from the inner side as well as from the outer side. What is the conclusion of this video? The order or sequence of your modeling steps is very important in your modeling process as well as the tool which you are going to use to create that detail, it's also matter. You should observe your design and then you should decide right sequence for modeling. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video. Take care.